in this uh, section we will take up the mechanism of action of slow acting hormone we have already discussed the quick acting hormones so now mechanism of action of slow acting hormones these slow acting hormones actually have a lag period they have lag period now what exactly we mean by this lag period is the time between the release of the hormone and its first effect or the uh, reaction or function so lag period basically means the time period between the release and its effect that period is called a lag period so the hormone is released from the endocrine gland and then there is a period when it is doing something it is going somewhere some reactions are taking place and then the effect is seen so this time gap which is there between the release and the effect is known as lag period example of slow acting hormones or the hormones which have lag period these are especially the steroid or steroid hormones so steroid hormones they show slow acting or slow effect the reason is the way they work their receptors this is the example of the hormone which are going to come in this category the receptors are in cytoplasm that means they cross the plasma membrane and why are they able to cross the plasma membrane because they are lipid soluble this is also fatty substance and they can cross through this lipid layer of the plasma membrane so they are lipid soluble and so cross plasma membrane and that is why their receptors are inside the cytoplasm one more important feature they are smaller in size and so are able to cross the plasma membrane so everything favors their entry into the cytoplasm and if they are able to enter into the cytoplasm their receptors should also be in the cytoplasm to understand how they work we will take one example that is working of estrogen mechanism of action of estrogen estrogen is released from the follicular cells released from follicular cells and the place where its action takes place or the target organ or target cell are uterine cells uterine cells are the target cells so now how this complete thing is going to work so we are drawing a uterine cell and see how this hormone is going to work this is say estrogen and we are showing it like this squarish structure estrogen can diffuse into the plasma membrane so now this estrogen has entered the plasma membrane its receptor is in the cytoplasm say so this is the receptor molecule and the receptor is known as estrophilin receptor is called estrophilin and this is the estrogen that is the hormone so hormone binds to the receptor now what happens is a complex is formed the complex is of estrogen and its receptor so this structure which is formed is actually estrogen receptor complex and this complex is known as estrophilin 2 this is the complex this complex now diffuses into 
the nuclear membrane. So here is the nucleus and this complex now comes into the nucleus. And inside the nucleus, it binds to that specific DNA segment. So this is the DNA segment and this complex comes and binds to this specific DNA. As soon as the hormone receptor complex in case of estrogen, that is estrophilin, if it comes and binds to DNA, DNA undergoes transcription. So what is happening here is transcription and transcription results in the formation of mRNA. So mRNA now is going to come out that is in the cytoplasm and here it is going to help in protein synthesis. That means this is the place where translation is going to take place. The proteins which are synthesized, they can be ovalbumin and ovovitelin. And these two bring about the division of follicular cells. This is the effect. And there is some time required for all these things to happen. So the time between the hormone release and these proteins showing their effect, that is division of follicular cells, there is a time lag and that is why their action is slightly slower. So slow acting hormones, this is one example that we have taken, estrogen and the estrogen is a group of hormones. We can take a specific example also, beta estradiol. That is a specific estrogen. So now how this action is going to take place is, estrogen is released from the follicular cells. Then it goes, its target organs are uterine cells. So it goes in the uterine cell. In the cytoplasm, there are the receptors. The receptor is called estrophilin. As soon as estrogen and the receptor binds, we get a complex. The complex is called estrophilin 2. Estrophilin 2 diffuses inside the nucleus. It binds to this DNA and transcription takes place. Transcription of that specific DNA. So mRNA is formed. mRNA can come out in the cytoplasm. With the help of ribosomes, now it helps in protein synthesis. And that process is called translation. As soon as proteins are synthesized, they will start working on the action. So, release and action. There is a time period which is required. These hormones, which are slow-acting hormones, they are smaller in size, fat-soluble, and that is why they can come inside the cells. That is, of the target organ. And because they are able to come inside, their receptors are in cytoplasm. So this is how a slow acting hormone shows its effect and because there are many things happening like DNA, then transcription, then translation, proteins formed and then the proteins will bring about the effect. There is a time gap and that is why we say that they have a lag period. So this is how hormones work. If it is a quick acting hormone, it works by formation of second messenger and cascade effect and if it is a slow acting hormone then the DNA undergoes transcription and translation protein synthesis takes place and then the effect is seen. So mechanism of both the hormones is different and the reason for dif this difference is basically their nature. Are they lipid or fat soluble or not? If yes then they can go inside the cell if they cannot, uh, if they are not fat soluble, they cannot enter into the plasma membrane. And because of which, the one which can come inside, its receptors would be in the cytoplasm. And one which cannot come inside the plasma membrane, its receptors would be on the plasma membrane. And then one will work by second messenger system and other will work by transcription and translation.